हेलो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स व्हिच आर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर अस बिकॉज दिस मेथड इज वेरी न्यू यू ऑलरेडी नो आई एम डॉक्टर शिवाजी बोथीकर फ्रॉम डी आर के कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स कोल्हापुर अवर टीचिंग सब्जेक्ट इज मनी एंड फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम पेपर नंबर फर्स्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू सी अवर सिलेबस विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस द फर्स्ट यूनिट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू मनी इन दिस यूनिट इवेल्यूशन ऑफ मनी मीनिंग ऑफ मनी एंड वॉट आर द फंक्शंस ऑफ मनी then meaning and features of blockchain technology and digital currency approaches to the money supply are based measures and which factors are fitting on money supply these points are included in the first unit now second unit which is introduction to banking in this unit we are going to see meaning evaluation and functions of commercial banks which are types of commercial bank and then what are the features of banks then which are the principles of banking business and its importance and what are the process of credit creation and its limitations these points are included in the second unit now third unit banking business and practices in this unit meaning types and features of deposits products of banks meaning types and features of loan products of banks sources of funds and income for banks changing nature of banking business these points are included in the third unit now last which is fourth unit which is new trends and recent issues in indian banking the first point which is microfinance institutions evaluations functions and importance types advantages and disadvantages of bank mergers then functioning of payment banks small bank finance banks meaning quasis and remedies for npa npa means non performing assets from corrective actions these units are included in the syllabus this is the first point friends now second point which is very important for us which is what is the nature of question paper this is also very important for us this is the nature of question paper total marks 50 okay some instructions are there all questions carry equal marks attempt any five questions out of seven the first question question which is short notes answers attempt any two out of 3 for 10 marks now second question which is broad question for 10 marks third question also broad question for 10 marks fourth question is also broad question for 10 marks fifth question which is broad question also 10 marks and sixth question which is broad question also for 10 marks and last question which is seventh questions which is write short notes for 10 marks attempt any two out of 3 this is the nature of question paper now we are going to start first unit which is 
evaluation of money functions of money before start this first unit i would like to what is the meaning of financial system i would like i would like to explain what is the meaning of financial system the meaning of financial system is a set of interrelated activities services that work together to achieve some goal it includes different market the institutions instruments services and mechanisms which influence the generation of saving investment capital form formation and growth the financial system as the function of financial market to allocate savings efficiently in an economy to ultimate users either for investment in real assets or for consumption financial system in india includes financial assets such as currency bank deposits life insurance policies unit shares and other kinds of deposits etc financial market such as money market and capital market and financial institutions or financial instruments such as banks and non banking financial institutions this is the meaning of financial system now second point which is what what is the meaning of money money is the most important element of economy in daily uses what we pay for the purchase of commodities is referred to as money money is anything which is generally accepted as a means of payments for settling any type of transaction involving purchase and sale of goods or settling debts money is the most liquid assets of all this is the meaning of this is the meaning of money now second point what is the definition of money money is what money does money is what money does this is wide definition as it include all these things in money which performs the functions of money then second definition anything is money which functions generally as medium of exchange these are the definitions of money then third point commodity money paper money bank money plastic money these are the types of money these are the types of money and then fourth point what are the functions of money what are the functions of money money is a matter of functions for a medium a major a standard and store these three points are very important in functions of money the first point which is primary functions of money in primary functions of money the first point which is medium of exchange medium of exchange the this function of money has solved one of the biggest problem of the barter system lack of double lack of double wants the use of money as a medium of exchange make exchange transaction very easy quick and smoothly for the buyers and the sellers 
then second function which is measures of value prices of all goods and services are expressed in terms of money money is therefore looked upon as collective measures of value every country has some standard money in terms of which values are measured and expressed in india the rupee is the standard money and it is the unit of account money makes comparison of values of different commodities possible okay these are the these are the primary functions of money then second point which is secondary functions of money the first point standard for deferred payments money also serves as standard for deferred payment for example payment to be made at future date money has proved itself as a useful standard of deferred payments as it is more durable as compared to other commodities it has general acceptance and it is relatively more stable in value store of value this is very important function money is used to store the wealth or other assets money is not perishable and it can be converted into any other form of asset whenever necessary it can be stored in the form of currency notes or deposits with bank and second function which is transfer of value money helps to shift the purchasing power from one place to another one can sell once once immovable and movable wealth at one place and buy them elsewhere in other words since money possesses the quality of general acceptability a person can dispose of his property at one place and buy at another place these are the these are the primary functions of money okay today we are going to today we are going to stop here next point which is secondary functions of money we are going to see next period thank you thank you very much